Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. We've got some breaking news. Now, Modern Warfare 2 has not been officially confirmed yet. However, apparently a Raven software employee emailed uh, some people, I don't know who, and have stated that there will not be any multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Let that sink in. The one of the biggest things in every Call of Duty is not going to be in the remaster. Now, I can see why they wouldn't add special ops. Um, I mean, special ops is a third game mode. I really enjoy special ops, but I know a lot of people didn't play them. Many people played the campaign and the multiplayer only. But to get rid of multiplayer and special ops and keep it campaign only, what are they thinking? Now, I've only been able... I've been... Now this is a bit late, uh, but I've been thinking about the possible reasons to why they might have done it, and all I can think of is uh, multiplayer games and multiplayer in general in remasters never ever match the original. Now I'm thinking about Halo Master Chief Collection. I never played in a Halo multiplayer, but I spoke to some Halo fans and they said the remaster is much worse than the originals. And if you look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, the start of the game, you didn't have collaterals, and uh, we had issues. We had many issues which weren't in the original Call of Duty 4. And then they added supply drops. I don't actually mind the supply drop system. I'm putting that out there. The supply drop system in MWR is welcome to my book, to MW2R, because uh, I earned everything for free. I pretty much earned everything for free in MWR. I earned all the weapons and it, yeah, it's fair enough. I did put a lot of time into it to be fair. So I had like the OP BOS uh, before anyone else. Which uh, would have probably annoyed a lot of people. So I understand why some people ain't understand why people like it. And it's a bit of a mix and match. But the only big, the bigger reason that I can think of why they didn't do it it's because I don't think Activision saw it as worthwhile. So you got to remember, Activision has to pay people to remaster stuff, you know, and make everything. Now, making the campaign, they probably thought, okay, we'll make this campaign. They have to just do the development for that for maybe six months, and they don't really have to support it afterwards, which is kind of true because there's no balance in these to be done. There's not really many fixes to be done with a campaign. So they're paying for six months and that's it, uh, just to remaster the campaign. They'd have to pay them after because they're not looking after a multiplayer. Of course they'll still pay them, you know, because they work for them, but they'll pay them as much because they're not really developing the game. Um, but Modern Warfare 2 remastered, let's say, you do the campaign, six months pay, and it gets released and that's it. Now if you just do multiplayer, do they think it would be more beneficial to add the multiplayer them having to support it, you know, with issues like we had with collaterals in MWR and things like that to put it back to the original. Or will there be more of trying to fix it, you know, from what MW2R had the grenade spam with one man army. Will they try and fix that and so on? They probably didn't want to make them decisions because I know if that they did do it, they'll upset Harkoon which didn't want it to get changed. And the half that did want it to get changed will be happy. And if the vice versa, if they didn't change it, the people that did want it to be changed will be upset. And the half that didn't want it to change wouldn't be. Which isn't really good to have 50 people go, I like this, and 50 people know. I mean, MWR is still more positive than negative. More people prefer MWR than dislike it. Um, and having the 50-50 mix because you decide to change some things and not some others will be, you know, really bad for Activision's outlook. And then uh, you got to think, they probably didn't want to add supply drops. And they know they did get millions on billions in supply drops and microtransactions. But they probably saw the negative NWR. Didn't really want to deal with another remaster, multiplayer, adding supply drops and, you know... Not balancing things. I'm going to put not balancing things into that book just because MWR didn't really balance anything. They kept it all to the original before, you know, adding all the supply drop stuff. That's 
that's what MWR is. The podium want to make MW2R the original, and then add all these supply drop stuff. And because it, MW2R's in that bigger, you know, if you didn't change anything, you're gonna upset half the community. The podium didn't want to risk that, so that's probably why they kept to the campaign only. It also, is probably the reason why the Amazon early pricing was only I think twenty euros. Uh, I mentioned that in a different video, and because uh, it's half of the game. Anyway guys, tell me what you think about no multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Will you be upset? Will you not be? In my personal opinion, I'm very upset because I never got to play MW2. Uh, uh, I never got played. I never got to play the original MW2 in its heyday. So I really see what it'd be like with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. You know, if I go back to MW2 now on Xbox 360 or PS3. There's not that many players playing it, so you've lost pretty much uh, the majority of how people play. And then uh, you're playing with maybe, especially on Xbox 360, I could be playing people from Africa now. Because it's play to play connection, it's not, you know, uh, dedicated servers, which is in region locks now. So I'm getting, this, I'm getting lag issues and things like that, which is very upsetting. Um, and I really just tried it when the game was out, so I missed it. I died in Black Ops 1. I was a year out from actually experiencing what most people claim is the best Call of Duty multiplayer ever. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.